Welcome back to the captivating story of London's Claridge's Hotel renovation. In part one, we witnessed the incredible transformation as the hotel added a massive five-story basement, defying limitations and preserving the comfort of its esteemed guests. But that's not all. In part two, we venture to new heights as we uncover the mesmerizing rooftop extension. Prepare to be amazed as Claridge's Hotel expands even further, creating 72 luxurious rooms and suites, including the prestigious Penthouse Super Suite. Don't forget to watch part one to witness the remarkable construction of the mega basement that laid the foundation for this awe-inspiring journey. Get ready to be enchanted by the next chapter of Claridge's Hotel Renovation. Let's dive in. The top two floors were deconstructed to make room for a breathtaking four-storey, 40-bedroom Victorian-style roof extension. And on top of that, an extravagant 1,860 square meter four-bedroom penthouse that boasts a private lake, swimming pool, fully equipped gym, and rumoured to come with a price tag of £100,000 a night. With work just 8 metres above paying guests, every detail was meticulously crafted by hand, removing old material and transforming the new floors into luxurious bedrooms and suites. As you can imagine, with any construction project, things don't always go to plan, and the construction team ran into a few problems. One of the first problems construction teams had when constructing the new glamorous rooftop rooms and suites was when they couldn't remove any more construction debris through the hotel or discreetly bring any new materials to the penthouse suites. The answer was to crane off the debris and crane up the new material. However, the local London Westminster Council wouldn't allow the crane to park on the exclusive Mayfair roads for the two years needed to complete the job. So, another audacious plan was devised. The solution was to put the 50 meter crane inside the in-service elevator shaft. This meant that the prep kitchen and pantries had to be moved and the one remaining service elevator had to be shared with housekeeping, room service and the construction builders. The crane was hoisted into the elevator shaft location, section by section, by a team of 30. 80 meters above the streets below. The elevator shaft crane was completed in two phases. First, the sections of the crane were hoisted up to the hotel roof. Then they were lowered down through the narrow elevator shaft. This stage was precarious as the elevator shaft also contained some key service piping and electrical systems that are critical for running of the hotel. Six hours later and stage one was complete. The next stage was to lift the 50 meter horizontal jib arm and pin it to the crane mast protruding through the hotel's elevator shaft. Finally, 12 hours after all safety checks were finished, the crane was ready to swing into action. The next stage of the rooftop expansion could then commence. However, the next problem the construction team faced was there was no place to store materials or construct elements for the new rooftop due to the limited space at Claridge's Hotel in the heart of London. So, the solution was to construct most of the rooftop extension primarily away from the site in Northern Ireland. This included gauge brickwork that was meticulously crafted through traditional methods while other components such as finished window frames were pre-assembled and lifted into place by a crane to slot seamlessly in with the 19th century building. As the original hotel building is over 130 years old, the building has naturally settled and moved ever so slightly over the years, and the floor levels are different from one side of the hotel to the other side. However, a makeshift bracket was used to bridge the gap between the steel frame and the dormer window. Over the space of two years, 100 more dormers were constructed in Northern Ireland and then transported over to London and then finally craned into position on top of the multi-million pound extension. As the work on the new rooftop began to pick up speed, the management decided it was best to limit the complaints from the construction noise above by taking all 19 rooms on the fourth floor below the rooftop extension out of commission. 
This wasn't ideal as it meant the hotel lost out on valuable revenue. However, this solution wasn't completely fail safe as some guests in floors further down could feel the vibrations of the construction work on the rooftop above. So the ultimate solution was to pull the plug on construction work for the day when there were too many complaints and send the construction workers home. Although when the coronavirus hit and restrictions were imposed by the British government in March 2020, the hotel was forced to close for the first time in over 100 years and all work stopped. Two months later, the construction industry was given permission to go back to work. And this ideal opportunity meant the construction teams could work in the unoccupied hotel without any noise restrictions. Jobs that would have taken a week to do were now getting done in one day. The penthouse atop Claridge's has to be a beacon of luxury in the heart of London and the new penthouse super suite fits the bill. The super suite engulfs the entire floor area creating a 1,860 square meter four bedroom penthouse that has a private lake, swimming pool, fully equipped gym and bespoke Steinway piano pavilion. And as I said at the start, rumour has it that it costs about £100,000 a night. Renowned for his luxury carpentry and mastery in using rare materials, Remy Tesler spearheaded this ambitious project. He is the go-to guy for luxurious interior design and specialises in billionaire super yachts and private planes interior design. The heart of this remarkable penthouse is the Grand Salon, an expansive living space designed to impress even the most discerning of guests. This opulent room boasts a floor-to-ceiling window spanning an astonishing 20 metres in length, offering unparalleled views of the tranquil lake and the bustling city of London. The Grand Salon features some of the rarest woods known to mankind. The extensive use of Wenji a dark hardwood grown in Africa brings a sense of depth and richness to the interiors. And then there's a zero cotti wood with its unique grain patterns making it one of the most sought after woods globally. Claridge's Hotel then called in another expert, an aquatect, Andrew Ewing, to design the penthouse super sweet 50 square meter lake. So what exactly is an aquatect anyway? An aquatect is like an architect, but more so a master of water design and architecture. 28 meters above the ground, in the heart of the lavish hotel atrium, Andrew Ewing crafted an engineering marvel like no other. 30 intersecting stainless steel beams intertwine to form a lattice suspended in mid-air, creating a breathtaking spectacle. These steel beams are not merely an artistic vision, they're also functional. Each beam is carefully covered with reinforced glass, providing the canvas for what's to come. The magic happens as the glass lattice is filled with a shallow 5cm layer of water. The result is a serene, shimmering lake suspended above the atrium, reflecting the grandeur of the surroundings. Creating the penthouse leg was a fascinating challenge. The weight of the steel presented a slight sag in the middle, which needed to be flawlessly corrected. To ensure perfection, the skilled team of engineers meticulously tightened and adjusted every nut and bolt, painstakingly leveling the lattice. With precision down to the millimeter, they guaranteed that no area deviated by even five millimeters from its intended position. Such meticulousness is not without reason. A tiny deviation could spell potential disaster. The penthouse lake's integrity could be compromised, leading to unwanted leaks. The penthouse lake in all its glory is a union of art and science, where aesthetics merge with engineering, creating a truly mesmerizing spectacle that captivates all who gaze upon it. World-renowned artist Damien Hirst also has his connections to the rooftop extension. In the past, Hirst was a temporary free residence inside the hotel and at that time was given permission to turn his hotel suite into an art studio. 
He was told not to worry about splattering the room with paint as after he would leave they would renovate the room. Hearst got paint everywhere, on the walls, carpets, mirrors, but the hotel didn't mind. So, as a thank you, Hearst presented the hotel with 200 unique prints. As a friend of the former hotel owner, Paddy McKillen, Hearst was asked to do a butterfly-themed stained glass window commission for the skylight of the new extension stairwell. Despite having no experience with stained glass, Hearst rose to the challenge and produced a wonderful bespoke piece of art. And so the transformation of Claridge's hotel reached its apex with the mesmerizing rooftop extension. A testament to human creativity, skill and determination. Despite the challenges faced by the construction team, the results are nothing short of extraordinary. With the rooftop extension now complete, Claridge's hotel has further solidified its position as an icon of luxury and elegance in Mayfair. From the lavish Victorian style rooms and suites to the opulence of the penthouse and its shimmering lake, this remarkable renovation has truly taken luxury living to new heights. As guests step into this remarkable oasis, they are met with an unparalleled experience, a blend of heritage and modernity that leaves a lasting impression. Clarges Hotel continues to redefine luxury proving that even after over a century, it remains a cherished destination for the most discerning travellers. And so, our journey through the captivating tale of Claridge's hotel renovation comes to an end. From the audacious basement construction in our part one video, to the awe-inspiring rooftop extension, every step of this remarkable journey has been a testament to human ingenuity and dedication. As we bid farewell to this extraordinary tale, we are left with knowledge that Claridge's will continue to be a timeless beacon of luxury, enchanting generations to come.